Chris, outside of that second inning, Grimm really did a nice job on the mound. What did you think of his overall performance, especially considering he's a freshman and, and this is a district semifinal? Yeah, I'm really proud of Ethan for the job that he did. I mean, he battled through a very tough lineup, ended up giving us a quality start despite that second inning. Um, he came out, that was probably the best velocity that he's had all year. Um, at some points, he was able to throw both of his uh, off-speed pitches for strikes. And, and he did a great job. I mean, he kept us in the game, as did Matt Novotny. Um, he's done that job all year as well. Couldn't ask for anything more to be sitting in a tight game there at the end. A lot's been said about Mannheim Township's top two pitchers. I'll tell you what, the third kid, Fisher Druck, yeah. was unbelievable in, in relief. What did you see from him today? Yeah, he was, he was very, very good. He was tough. Um, he was pumping that fastball. He was probably close to 90. He was a little bit harder than Weaver, which... Um, you know, it's hard to imagine because that kid was bringing it pretty, pretty hard as well. Um, but just kept us off balance. We did have bad at bats, though. We weren't attacking that fastball. And once you get behind against a kid that good, um, he's going to be able to dominate you. You know, and, and as close as we were able to make it with getting some guys on at the end, um, we also had enough bad at bats to, to hurt ourselves there towards the end. You played a, a really good schedule. Have you faced someone throwing harder than him this season? Uh, I'm trying to think. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, we saw Ruben, who throws pretty hard um, as well. But no, that was probably the hardest throw we've seen all year. Um, not to make excuses, obviously, but you have a Division One player who's hurt right now in Tyler yeah. Minnick. How, how much do you miss, you know, that bat and that speed and everything he brings to the table? Yeah, I mean, I mean, as much as, you know, our kids do their best to try to compensate for that, you know, and you have that next man up philosophy. The reality is when you're sitting in a tie or a one run ball game, a player of that caliber is, is absolutely a difference maker. So it's hard not having him, but you know, we have to we have to move on and, and get ready for the next one without him. Uh, Mannheim Township won the Lancaster Lebanon League. Warwick has a very good team. Effort has got a good team. When you see teams from the LL, do you know you're gonna be in for a battle? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We have a bunch of these teams in our non league schedule year in and year out and um and we know what we're gonna expect, you know, and they were absolutely everything that we knew they were gonna be today. Your season isn't over. Mm -hmm. How do you go about refocusing? Do you give them a you know a day off, or you know well, it's right back to work? You know what's the philosophy yeah, after such a tough loss? Because that game for third place and a state bid is on Thursday. You really can't take a day off. You need to you need to practice tomorrow. But you know you just got to get refocused. Shake this. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, anybody can do to change it. And you try to get the team to realize that we still have something to play for. You know, and that's uh, third place in the district, which is quite an accomplishment given the quality of the teams this year, as well as a state bid. You know, you get into that tournament, and who knows what can happen. You know, so we started to send that message as early as our team huddle following the game. And because you went with Grimm today, you still have Velez available. Uh, how confident do you feel in having him able to go for that third place game? We felt confident with Ethan today. We're going to feel confident with, with Velez on Thursday. You know, our pitching has been a strength for us. That's one of the things we preach year in and year out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, with him on the mound, we just got to make sure we make plays behind him and get some timely hits and minimize the strikeouts. Was the heat an issue at, at all today? I mean, it's... It's I'm a 90 plus out here. Yeah, I mean, different players react obviously differently to it. I know Darian is a catcher. You know, he was trying his best to stay hydrated. It's tough behind the plate in these conditions. But, you know, a lot of the guys just kept drinking in the dugout. Um, and for some guys, just being a little bit looser in the in the heat maybe made them feel better. So it's tough to say. Uh, Woolwine had a couple hits for you today. What has he brought to your team, not just this afternoon, but all year? Leadership, intensity. Um, just just what a great leader what a great young man um, you know we got a dugout full of kids that are gonna go on to be great men and, and do great things and and he's probably at the top of that list he's just an outstanding young man and we're definitely gonna miss him next year well best of luck trying to get into states appreciate it thank you Paul